morning everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video i'm doing a video again with hair sticking up it always just seems to happen but i thought i would film a little what i eat in a day today i am back home as you can probably tell if you are new to my channel then my name is sophie and i upload all videos related to health fitness lifestyle and well-being so if that sounds like your kind of thing definitely be sure to click on the little red subscribe button down below as you can probably tell, I have literally just gotten out of bed, hence still sort of the pyjama situation and this situation. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am about to go get some breakfast, so I thought I would take you with me, show you what I'm having, and yeah, just take you along with my day. Completely irrelevant, but just thought I'd show you. I found my old iPad last night. This is like the iPad 2, it is really old. And it had so many fun like videos and video stars and photos and things on here. Let me know if you used to do video star. I'd completely forgotten. I found them all on here, which was just brilliant. I love that discovery. But yeah, I tried to update it and now it's gone into let me see if I can even show you. Like recovery mode. So this is all it does. And then I try updating it on iTunes, it fails to update, and then it just goes back to this again. So I don't really know. I think it backed up all the videos and photos though before I update it before I try to update it. So I don't know whether it's worth just doing a factory reset and then reinstalling the backup if that content is there, which I need to try and figure out now. But yeah, hopefully I'll manage to get it sorted somehow. Wow, this sun really helps to enhance these hairs <laughs> that are sticking outside. For breakfast this morning, I like to always go all out with breakfast, you know, you got to make the most of breakfast. That is definitely my fave meal of the day. But I'm going to have some Alpro coconut yoghurt and then I'm going to top it with some of my homemade granola. I made a batch of this yesterday and already used up quite a bit of it yesterday. Um, I did actually post the recipe for this recently on my channel so I will be sure to pop that up on screen now so you can check that out if you want. It's literally just five ingredients, very simple, very quick and easy to make and super tasty so i'm gonna have some of that and then i have got some blueberries a banana and then i'm going to put on a few pecan nuts a few cacao nibs and then breakfast for me just isn't complete without some kind of nut butter so i've got the pippa nut pumpkin spice there's a little bit left in here so i'll use that a little bit up and then i might have to crack open the new one as well i'm gonna put that all together and should be a good breakfast. Also just remember I bought a couple of figs the other day. So I'm going to add these on top as well. I'm just going to chop them up into little pieces. These kind of need using up. They got a little bit squashed. So I thought that would be a nice addition as well. Well that's definitely one loaded bowl. It's going to be a struggle to eat that. But to be fair I mean the top layer is like a lot of fruit. I think the figs are really bolted out. And then also into the strainer to wash the blueberries. I tipped way too many. But you know what? It's better to have too many than too little. Also decided in the end to add a few goji berries on top too. But I'm definitely hungry now, ready to eat this. It looks tasty. I am finally about to actually get to the gym. Literally, the whole morning's gone. It's already gone one o'clock. It's more like lunchtime now, although to be fair, I woke up a little bit later and had a bit of a later breakfast. Surprising, just like going from England to here with like it shifting one hour forward here. Still, like, I don't know, it seemed weird. But anyway, the morning's just basically gone. I've been sorting out my iPad, finally actually managed to get it all sorted. I basically had to reboot it completely, set it back to the factory settings, and then luckily it backed it all up. So it re-put all of that back up, back onto it, and it's back to working order. So, managed to get that all sorted. Happy it's all worked out. I haven't lost anything as far as I'm aware. So that's all good. All the apps and everything were back on it too. So very happy that that's all sorted. But yeah, I am gonna actually finally get to the gym now. Literally, this, I'm just having one of those days where the day just goes. And I don't even know where it's gone. I've just literally wasted the whole morning trying to sort out the iPad. Well, at least it wasn't wasted because I did manage to sort it. The giant fly in here as well. But yeah, so I don't know. You know those days where you just don't feel like you've really got anything done, but the day's just kind of gone and you just feel a bit all over the place? That's kind of one of the days that I'm having today. But instead of having like a full on lunch right now, I'll just have a really late lunch when I get back from the gym. I'm not feeling that, that hungry yet anyway. So instead, I am just gonna find a naked bar or something to have to keep me going until after the gym just to give me a little bit of an energy boost to the gym i am gonna have let me see well i found a naked bar i'm gonna have one of the salted caramel naked bars if you haven't tried this highly recommend it's quite peanutty so if you don't like peanuts you probably wouldn't like it but if you do you'll probably love it so definitely recommend you give it a go 
I'm finally about to actually have some lunch. I've just got back in from the gym. Ooh, just bash that into the cooker. Um, it is already now like 20 past three. But anyway, I'm just gonna make a quick sort of stir fry. So I have got some pepper, some courgette, this tiny little carrot. I mean, look how cute that is. It's literally a baby carrot. And they only had carrots like this size in the supermarket. But I mean, it works well for like a one portion kind of size. Um, and I've also got some tender stem broccoli. I'm going to have some tofu in there as well. And then I've got some buckwheat noodles. So for the stir fry, I'm just going to like fry up all of this stuff. And then I'm going to add in a little scoop of peanut butter as well. Because I love like peanut stir fries. And then I've got some liquid aminos for... Uh, there we go. As an alternative to soy sauce. Um, this is like a gluten free version basically um so i'm gonna have some of that a little bit of peanut butter do we have any i don't think we've got any fresh ginger but oh, the dogs i need to get them if they're gonna carry on barking oh they might be stopping fingers crossed but um yeah no i don't have any ginger so yeah i'll just fry all this up i might chop up a small chili as well just to add a little bit of a spice in there i sometimes quite like that little bit of extra spice kind of in there too and you getting out a carrot would bring you in here hey you do love a good carrot <laughs> you just sense as soon as i start chopping one or he smells one and you're straight in here aren't you <laughs> so i've got all of my nice veggies frying up nicely and then i've got my buckwheat noodles here ready to go just about to pop those on and then i'm also just gonna stir through the peanut butter also just quickly if the camera will focus on it the peanut butter Hang on. Oh no, I'm now zooming. Why am I zooming in? I don't want to do that. Eh, there we go. Okay, the peanut butter that I use is the Meridian Rich Roast Crunchy Peanut Butter. I love the crunchy one as I love the little texture of the crunchy bits in the stir fry. It adds really nice sort of consistency and texture to it. I'm also just going to make a quick protein shake to go along with it. So I'm going to have some of the Form um, Chocolate Peanut Performance Protein. I just use two scoops of this. I'm going to blend up quickly in the Nutribullet with some almond milk. In, oh, got hair out from walking the dogs. I also hugged one of them, and now I am covered in hair, covered, covered in hair as well, which isn't great in a black jumper. I don't know what this ponytail is doing, but I'm just gonna grab a quick snack to keep you going until dinner. Now we'll get some dinner probably very soon. But oh, as you can tell, this is the cupboard. How to keep all the snacks bars? I am gonna have. I don't actually know what I'm gonna have. Um, what shall I do? Here? Mm -hmm. I might have a Trek bar actually. I'm gonna grab one of the Trek flapjacks. This is the original oat one. Definitely sort of my fave go-to. Although recently I tried their salted caramel, which I think is a new flavor. I did mention it in a recent favorites. That one is so good. I can't get it in my local supermarket though. I had to get that one from in town. So I haven't had any more of those since, but the good original one is a good go-to and it's also got 10 grams of protein and it's vegan and gluten free. So I'm gonna have one of these now. Keep going till dinner and then I'll show you what I'm making in a bit once I get around to it. I'm just about to put together dinner now so I'm going to make sort of like a lentil veggie kind of bolognese style sauce and have it with some brown rice pasta. But for the sauce I'm going to chop up this red onion and then I'm also going to add in some pepper and some carrots. I've got a couple more of these little, <laughs> little carrots and I'm just going to fry all of that up. Oh and some mushrooms as well. And then I will add in some chopped tomatoes. And then I also have this, which is kind of like a tomato passata, but with a bit of garlic and onion and salt as well in there. So I thought that I'd just add to the nice flavour of the sauce. It's just literally that. It's a really nice, simple tomato sauce recipe in there. And then also I'm going to add in some lentils. And then I have got some fresh basil. I might add in a bit of dried basil and oregano as well. But that's going to be my basis of my sauce ingredients and then i will cook up some pasta while this sort of simmers away and sort of what's the right word i can't think when you like leave it to sort of simmer slash boil and it i can't think what the word is but you maybe hopefully know what i mean Anyway, I'm going to get cooking now because I am starting to feel a bit hungry. This is looking and smelling pretty good already. I've just put the pasta on now too. And then all that's left to do now is chop up this basil and add it in. 
and I think the pasta should take around 10 minutes so I'll just leave this oh that's what I was looking for before simmer <laughs> leave that to simmer for around 10 minutes now while the pasta cooks and then I'm gonna stir the pasta through into the sauce before dividing it up this definitely is looking pretty tasty all that's missing is some fire live cheese I forgot to buy some vegan cheddar this week but oh well it'll have to do without I am just about to sit down to watch Love Island now so my phone my phone my watch Technically, my phone is pinging. Um, but I have just grabbed myself, so I'll just close the door because the TV is on loud. I have just grabbed myself another cup of green tea. I didn't actually show this this morning, but the same green tea that I have literally every single while I eat in a day. It's just the Tetley Decaf green tea. I had one this morning as well. Just grabbed one of those. And then I've also got one of these 8 5 sort of chocolate kind of bars. They are basically, they've got a date caramelly kind of centre and this one is their flavour of the month from last month. So it's cherry and almond. So essentially it's like cherry bakewell flavour and it tastes so good. You won't be able to get that flavour actually anymore. But their most recent flavour of the month would have launched for just February now. I can't remember what it was this month, but they've had some really good ones in the past. And also their like core main three flavours as well, really good. You can get a peanut one, a sword caramel one, and a hazelnut one so definitely recommend just trying them if you haven't did i say it was by a brand called eat vive i don't actually know but yeah it is by a brand called vive if i didn't say that before i will link their website down below but i'm gonna enjoy that watch love island now and that is gonna be everything i'm having today casper moore is about to start on love island so it's about to all kick off i'm assuming we'll have to see what happens so hopefully it should be a good episode but I hope you have enjoyed this video, smash a big thumbs up on it. Also be sure to click on the little red subscribe button down below if you are new to my channel. And don't forget there is also that notifications bell too that you can tap on so you're notified whenever I upload. And I will be sure to see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye!